Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure of arteries. You should then be able to describe how the structure of arteries is adapted to their function. AQA and OCR students also need to be able to describe the structure of arterioles. In the last video we looked at the general structure of the human circulatory system. We saw that oxygenated blood is carried from the heart to the organs in blood vessels called arteries. Arteries then branch to form narrower blood vessels called arterioles. Arterioles carry the blood to the capillaries in each organ. In the capillaries, molecules diffuse from the blood to the body cells, for example oxygen and glucose. Other molecules diffuse from the body cells back to the blood, for example carbon dioxide and urea. Finally, the blood then passes from capillaries to blood vessels called venules, and then to veins which carry the blood back to the heart. In this video we're looking at the structure of arteries and arterioles. We're going to start with arteries. Remember that arteries carry blood away from the heart to the organs. Blood in the arteries is under high pressure, and when the heart beats, a surge of even higher pressure blood is pushed down the arteries. Scientists call this the pulse. However, you need to remember that blood in the arteries is always moving forward, even between heartbeats. I'm showing you here a cross section through a typical artery, although I should point out that very large arteries can have a wider diameter than I'm showing here. The first thing to notice is that the artery wall is relatively thick. This allows the artery to withstand the high pressure of the blood. The wall of the artery consists of several layers. The outer layer is rich in the fibrous protein collagen, which we looked at in a previous video. Collagen plays a structural role, strengthening the artery wall against the pressure of the blood. Next, we have a layer containing smooth muscle. When the smooth muscle contracts, the diameter of the artery narrows. This allows the body to control how much blood flows to different organs. Smaller arteries tend to contain a greater proportion of smooth muscle than larger arteries, and that's because smaller arteries play a greater role in controlling blood flow. Next, we have a layer which is rich in elastic fibres. Elastic fibres contain the protein elastin, which can stretch. When the heart contracts, a surge of high pressure blood passes down the artery. As the surge moves through, the elastic fibres stretch. They then recoil once the surge has passed. This elastic recoil helps to keep the blood moving smoothly forward in between contractions of the heart. Ok, now the central cavity of the artery is called the lumen, and the lumen is where the blood flows through. The lumen is lined with a thin layer of endothelial cells. This presents a very smooth surface to reduce friction as the blood flows through. Ok, now arteries branch into smaller blood vessels called arterioles, and the job of arterioles is to deliver blood to capillaries. The wall of arterioles contains the same layers as arteries, but as you'll see they differ in their relative thickness. In arterioles the blood pressure is lower than in arteries, and the effect of the pulse is weaker. This means that in arterioles, the collagen rich outer layer and the elastic layer are relatively thin compared to arteries. However, you'll notice that the smooth muscle layer is relatively thicker in arterioles compared to arteries. That's because arterioles are involved in controlling the amount of blood passing through capillaries. When the smooth muscle in arterioles contracts, blood flow through the capillaries is reduced. Scientists call this vasoconstriction. However, when the smooth muscle in arterioles relaxes, blood flow increases through the capillaries and scientists call this vasodilation. Vasodilation takes place when an organ requires an increased amount of oxygen. Ok, in the next video we're going to look at the structure of capillaries. <laughs>